Not gonna lie, after seeing this movie, it makes me want to go down to this board shop a couple miles down from my house and pick up a skateboard and a Super Nintendo. Oh, this movie did not fail to bring some nostalgia back. Okay, so dope. So dope follows the story of a high school senior named Malcolm who's a huge 90s hip-hop geek yet a straight-A student with nearly perfect SAT scores who dreams of going to college. Problem is, he lives in Inglewood, California, the city notorious for having crime-filled streets with gangs, drugs at almost every corner, so it's a bit rough for him. Until one night, he and his friends go to this drug dealer's party in which a drug deal goes wrong and Malcolm soon gains possession of all this dope hence the name. So now Malcolm and his friends have to journey their way through the streets with all these drugs while at the same time trying to remain their dignity. Now honestly, I didn't hear too much about Dope before going in. All I knew is that it was an audience favorite at the Sundance Film Festival and that was it. And it didn't win like me and Earl and the Dying Girl and I loved that movie so I was interested to see how this movie would turn out. Fortunately, Dope was not only a really cool movie, it's actually very smart. Part of that had to do with the acting in Dope and the one who stood out the most was the lead by the name of Shamik Moore. He gave a terrific performance portraying this kid who is not only cool and charismatic but relatable and realistic his character alone helped drive this movie and that's one of the hardest things to do in a movie really but Shamik Moore pulls it off and I'm hoping I get to see him in more roles like this his friends especially they felt real too through the way how they communicate verbally and through gestures these guys feel like they had a connection with one another not only on set but in real life as well because we've all had those friends where all they have to do is stare at you and say nothing and you completely understand what they're saying that's those friends in this movie and they were hilarious together. May not make sense to all, but makes sense to me. And Zoe Kravitz was in here as well and she was good in this movie also. Probably the best I've seen her yet, but in terms of character, I'll touch on that a bit later. And as for the rest of the actors, which consists of mostly side characters, I didn't mind them really. They weren't all that great, but they weren't cringeworthy is what I'm trying to say. But through the sense of style this director takes within this film is very original. He was able to take modern times and blend it with 90s culture. From the way the characters dressed to what they were referencing to and even the soundtrack, which fit extremely well with this movie. Yet Dope was able to take it into some crazy directions. I'm serious, some crazy shit happens in this movie to the point where you might say that is some of the best comedy segments I have seen seen this year. And like I said about it being based in Inglewood, California, is that I can imagine it's a pretty accurate representation of the city because I've never been in Inglewood before. And do I want to go there? No. And do I plan on going there? No, never in my life. But it's the way the director captures the city through the chain of events that happened that makes it very original and of course, making me to never want to go there. However, there were a few problems with this movie and the majority of that had to do with the execution of certain characters. Because what this movie does is that it introduces these characters and you don't see them again for like another 40 to 55 minutes into the movie. Like they pop up, they leave, and then they show up again. One of them was Zoe Kravitz. Again, guys, I loved her performance, but if you see the movie, you're gonna be like, well, her character really didn't need to be in there because there were larger conflicts in the movie that were occurring and with that being said she and other characters really weren't involved in this bigger picture because when it does come to the time when they do show up again you're like I totally forgot you were in the movie and Dope tries to give certain lessons and morals which some do work but some really didn't need to be in this movie it may come across as too preachy for some but at times it could be like yeah I've seen the same message over and over the whole be who you are no matter what type of thing and you're like yeah yeah I get it however though this doesn't take away what this movie truly has to offer. So in the end, Dope was a smart original movie with great acting, cool leads, Shamik Moore needs to be in more stuff. The feel and sense of direction it went was very fun, making it a very entertaining movie. However, it has some aspects that didn't really fit in, like certain side characters and a few messages that are trying to get across. But like I said, it doesn't take away what Dope truly has to offer, which is originality, because Dope is easily worth the matinee price. Dope was obviously dope. Everybody's gonna say that in their reviews, guaranteed. That joke right there, that's not even original. But have you guys seen Dope and what did you think about it? Whatever your thoughts are, leave a comment below. And as always, there's a link from my Twitter and my Facebook in the description as well. Keep in contact with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But in the meantime, I have to get going to go smoke some dope. I mean to pick up a Super Nintendo and play some Yoshi's Island. Yeah, there you go.